Hello, I'm Ferris Pilot, and today we're going to be playing a little bit more Pokemon Red version without using any Pokemon centers, only using items for healing and not using any items in battle and not using the daycare center to level up our guys and none of that nonsense. We're just gonna... We're just gonna... gonna go at it. Normally. Not normally. Just... Just not using Pokemon centers. You understand the idea. And yes, I, I knew that there was a nugget there, so I intentionally looked for it. I also think there's something around here. Uh, the nugget is going to be valuable for us, of course, because we rely so heavily on on HP and, and healing items. But anyways, here we are in Celadon. Sleepy Pokemon appeared. That's great. Is this... am I allowed to go anywhere around here? No? Okay. This guy's thirsty, so he won't let us in. We can buy drinks at the Celadon department store, which means... By the way, guys, I, I realize I totally dropped the previous thought that I had, but I, do, I just don't care. Which means that we can buy fresh water. So, you know what? Forget the free items. We're going to do that right away. Um, we'll get the free items later. There are a lot of free items. But first, 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 first things first. We go to floor five. All right. It's a great floor. Then we head on out, up, stairs. Now we're on the ceiling. Oh, boy. Vending machine. Fresh water. Let me, let me tell you guys about this item. Fresh water. $200. $200. $200. Heals as much as a super potion for $200. This is the most money-efficient healing item in the game. All right? Which means... We have just found a way to win this game. Essentially. Like, now we can use struggle pretty much indefinitely. The only thing that can stop us is if somebody has such a large team that we can't struggle to win against them. But if that happens, we can pop TMs. Which also, we also have another method for the TMs, which you'll see in a second. But first, Let's give this girl some drinks. She seems thirsty. She gave us TM-13 Ice Beam. Awesome. Let's give her another TM. Or let's give her another drink. Soda Pop. Soda Pop, thank you. You can have TM-48. Just Rock Slide. And then, another TM. Lemonade. Oh. We get TM Try Attack. Try Attack. I don't think we can use Try Attack on any of our characters. Drowsy is able, but who cares about Drowsy? Rock Slide, can Blastoise use Rock Slide? Nope. But Blastoise can definitely use Ice Beam, I know that. Yes, okay, so that's good, that's good. So the other strat we'll discuss in a second. Uh, first we've got a... We've got a skedaddle on over to floor number two. Was it floor number two? It was floor number three. It was one of these floors, I can't fully remember which one. There we go. This guy gives us the free TM. Nice. Why does this guy not sell anything? Okay. Whatever. Who cares? We'll talk to this guy. Alright, so. TM32. Or TM31. I forget which one. One of them is Light Screen. Which is learnable by Blastoise. Actually, I think both of them are learnable by Blastoise. It doesn't matter what these TMs are because we're never going to use them. TM01 is Mega Punch. You know that move we were using earlier and just swept Lieutenant Surge's entire gym with? Yeah, that one. So what we can do is purchase TM32. Learn it, overwriting our existing Mega Punch. Then we can purchase TM01, Mega Punch. Per Learn it, overwriting the existing TM that we just learned thereby taking our PP of Mega Punch from 0 to 20. Allowing us to use, on average, assuming that the Mega Punch accuracy is 80%, which it is, uh, 16 Mega Punches per $4,000. That is about $250 per attack. Alright, it's not going to replace Struggle, but in tough encounters, like when the 
enemy has six Pokemon and struggling just results in our own deaths, we can use the Mega Punch strat to win. Now the problem is that Mega Punch is itself a low, um, not, not low accuracy. It, it is low accuracy, but like I said, not a big deal. The problem is that Mega Punch is itself a normal type move, which means it cannot hurt ghost type Pokemon. So our other TMs, our ethers, that stuff is very precious. We're going to dodge as many mediums as possible, and we need to preserve those TMs for the Agatha fight. Also, against no against rock types. So we're going to dodge as many hikers and, uh, and, 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 and mediums as possible. Anybody who uses ghost types and rock types, we don't want to, we don't want to fight those guys because they're going to give us a hard time. Rock types might be a little bit easy because, like, you know, we can still deal with them. But the ghost types are just a no. Let's go and grab some of the free items. Let's use Pokemon Ducks to cut. And got a PP up. That is useful. We don't have room for items. God damn. Okay, let's step by step here. First of all, do we have any TMs to sell? Um, items. We got a bunch of TMs. Counter. Yes, we can sell counter. No, we can use counter for the strat. But it sells for a thousand, so it doesn't matter. Try attack. We can. We don't need try attack, and it's normal type, so we can sell it. Rock slide. We should keep just in case. Ice Beam, we should keep for sure. Um, so, Red's PC. Deposit. TM13, Ice Beam. And then after Ice Beam, we got Rock Slide, I think. So we'll deposit that as well. And then, do we have any other items we can deposit? Because, like, we should if we do. All of these are pretty useful. Yeah. Yeah. They're all pretty good. We should sell the nugget, though. At some point. And then we, we've got to sell some other stuff as well. Not the Pokemon Mansion. We've got to go to the Mart. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. What is up, dude? Sell. TM49. Yes. Sell TM18. Sell the nugget. But look at how rich we are, guys. This is insane. Now we're gonna go and uh, you might say, oh, why don't you buy the TM Mega Punch? We don't need the TM Mega Punch right now because we have the TM Body Slam. What do you guys sell? No, 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 no. Just not interested. Um, what we're gonna do is buy a million fresh waters. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. Because fresh water is the best healing item in the game, and it's going to be our main form of not only HP recovery, but also our main form of converting our money into damage in the form of struggle. So to give you guys an idea of how much better this is than the super potions we've been using up until now, uh, it heals the same amount, but it only costs $200. Super potion costs $600. Right? So, it's... For every three fresh waters, you can get one super potion. You heal 150 HP for the price of healing 50 HP. That's how freaking good fresh water is. Like, it turns so many fights that would have otherwise not been profitable into profitable fights. That's why it's great. So we can just dodge the trainers that aren't going to give us a lot of money and use fresh water to get through the rest. And so, where's, um, where's, where's, where's my item slot? 45 fresh waters. That's gonna, that's gonna, that's gonna serve us for a while. And there we go. That's gonna work. Now, how much PP do we have left? Literally zero, because we didn't use any. No, we, we do have PP. We have PP on Mega Punch. We have five. Okay. We don't want to use our ethers, by the way, on Mega Punch, because, like I said, we should save those for our special items. Oh, and if you're going to wonder, like, oh, what are you going to do with that Eevee that you just got from the Pokemon Mansion? I am not going to use the Eevee pretty much for anything. 
I may use it as uh, as fodder for when we fight the Elite Four, but for now I don't need it. Also maybe as an HM slave, because it can learn Surf. But I think we'll probably get the Lapras before that, so it shouldn't matter. Where's the Pokemon Center? I want to deposit Eevee. Uh, Bill's PC, deposit Eevee. I just want to keep my party clean so that I don't have, you know, a situation where I'm like trying to get the Cut HM or the Flash HM or whatever and then I accidentally... Or it takes me like two seconds longer than usual to get the Pokemon that I really want. Also, we didn't even have to cut that tree, we could have just walked from here. Is there something here? Seriously? Are you kidding me? I feel like there should be something there. Who are you? This is the hotel, it doesn't matter. This is some guy's house. I don't think any of these people give us anything. Um... There's a game center here that we can do some stuff with, I don't care about it. I'm gonna s heal my Pokémon. No, I healed my Pokémon, I'm gonna save. Okay. Snorlax, we can't get past. So we need the Poke Flute, and we're gonna cut open this tree. Any cool Pokemon here? Doduo. Ew. Spiro, nobody cares. Doduo is actually a pretty good flying type Pokemon. He can learn Tri Attack. Actually, I don't know if Doduo learns it or Dotrio learns it. Out of all of the flying normal type Pokemon in this game, Doduo is probably the best. How'd you get in? Good effort. What? Talk to this guy. I think he's the fly guy. Or she's the fly girl. Oh, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. HMO2. Alright. We're gonna use HMO2 right away to teach ducks how to fly. Oh, yes. Um, I literally don't care. Which one's more useful, Sand Attack or Leer? <laughs> uh, forget Peck. Hey, what's this? There, there has to be a way to get back there, right? There is not. Surely there's a way to get back there. No, there isn't. It's just kind of like a path. What the frick? That's weird. We don't want to deal with the bikers yet. Let's use Cut. Actually, no, we're gonna use Fly. Fuck Cut. We're gonna fly to... Celadon City. Can we fly to other cities that we haven't been to? No, okay. Oh, that's good. That is some good stuff. Fly is gonna make our lives a lot easier. Okay, so, now, next order of business is defeating Team Rocket in this town to get the Self Scope or defeating the Gym Leader. Let's defeat the Gym Leader. Actually, I want to check something first. We gotta, we gotta defeat the trainers outside the town that we skipped. Uh, those trainers are gonna give us good XP before we actually take on the Gym Leader. Although we do have Mega Punch right now, so maybe... We should fight the gym, gym trainers first, because they're going to have annoying grass-type Pokémon. And I don't want to get status affected. So yeah, we'll do that first. Um, deal with the grass-types first. Alright, let's talk to the dirty old man. <laughs> this gym is great! It's full of women! <laughs> Can you imagine if this game came out today? And like, the localization would definitely, like... There is no way that they would allow a creepy old man perving on girls in the gym to just stay as it is. They would definitely like change him into some kind of, I don't know. He'd be like, oh, this gym is great. It has so many grass Pokemon or something like that. Cause like, man, <laughs> the nineties were uh, an interesting time for us all. Did Pokemon come out in the nineties or the eighties? I don't even remember. I, I feel like it came out before I was even born, but maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just insane. How old are these games? Well, let's use Mega Bunch. Oh yeah, I'm not supposed to skip. Weep and Bell. All right, Mega Punch. 
Yeah, well, I mean, that makes sense. Mega Punch is low accuracy. I didn't expect it to hit every time. Bell fainted. Turd Spurt won. You're too rough. Really? Oh man, the innuendo is, is too much for me to handle. I was getting bored. Uh, we do have status healing items, so it's not so bad, but, you know. Uh, she has like 40 fucking Pokemon, and they're all trash. Alright, punch, punch, punch. Should have saved the punches for the stronger Pokemon, but whatever. There's no way to save punches, by the way. Like, you can't use struggle unless you have to. Alright, level 40 is good. I'm not gonna change Pokemon. And then she's gonna bring out, like, Vile Plume. It's gonna cast Poison Powder and instantly poison me. But that's better. I, I just hope it doesn't cast Sleep Powder or, or Stun Powder. Stun Powder? Paralyzed Powder? I forgot what it's called. Stun Spore. Stun Spore. I hope it doesn't cast Stun Spore. Alright. We can handle the rest of these two with Struggle. I feel like if we hadn't had Mega Punch, she has so many Pokemon that we would have struggled ourselves to death. Uh, Bellsprout. No, it will not change Pokemon. Anyways. You're dead. You're deader than Disco. I mean, I feel like since we're in the gym, we're not gonna fight the gym leader, but we should at least fight her trainers. My makeup. Man, this game has some... <laughs> Let's just say that, uh, the Tumblr would have a field day with this game. Alright. How's it going, lady? Look at my grass Pokemon. They're so easy to raise. Alright, lady. These beauties actually give a lot of money relative to the amount of, uh, Pokemon that they have. Especially the danger level of their Pokemon. So I'm happy about this. Look at this! Look at how big the pixels on Blastoise's sprite are compared to uh, compared to the enemy Pokemon. Look at them; they're huge. Although they, they do still obey the grid, so you can't you can't you know? They're, it's not like they're bigger pixels. They just it, what I'm trying to get at is there are certain limitations that are followed. And it looks fine. I mean, it doesn't look good, especially not for this day and age, but it looked fine when it came out. Alright, there's another beauty on the other side. I don't know why I keep on bringing up this indie game pixel art bullshit. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Fresh water, guys. I love it so much. Costs as much as a potion, heals as much as a super potion. That's how I like to live my life. Aren't you the peeping Tom? No, that's the old guy outside. I'm a, I'm a genuine gym challenger, lady. Or not lady, junior trainer. Ooh, Bulbasaur. I met your older brother, and I killed him with my fist. Wow, Bulbasaur survived? That's amazing. And it did a slight amount of damage. Did, did she put all of her HP experience... All of her, um... Experience points into HP. Just like battling, I don't know, exclusively uh, chances. Ivysaur, no, it's probably gonna survive, and I might actually die. This is worrisome. I'm glad I saved before every battle. Okay, no, I don't have any chance of dying. Never mind. Literally zero chances. I just, like, we're such a high level. Why was her Bulbasaur level 30 and her Ivysaur level 24? This game doesn't make any sense. The trainers are so stupid. Alright. Ducks. You and me, baby. I should have saved after... Or before cutting, it doesn't really matter. I should also have saved after healing. Not ducks. Not ducks. Heal our boy turtle here. Give him some fresh waters. Give him some space. We don't have to be, like, be really, uh, exact with our HP, you know, usage anymore. We don't have to 
We can use some- we can waste some HP every time we use fresh water, it's okay. Alrighty. Not enough to one-shot, that's worrisome. Not that it really matters, but uh, that does a, that did more damage than I wanted it to, more than I expected it to, and more than I believed it should. I just hope she doesn't have many more Pokemon, because, uh, okay, it's just the one. Good. Gloom is an evolved form, so if it uses Absorb, I, I could take a fair amount of damage. I don't think I'm in danger of losing, though, because it's still going to go down in two hits regardless of what happens. And uh, it did use Absorb. Which is great, because I would rather it use Absorb than Stun Spore and Sleep Powder and all that nonsense. Because the first time I went through this gym, oh man, the status effects were hilarious. Alright, Lass, you've lost to me. Oh, you! Or is that more, was that an, oh, you? Or was that a, oh, you? Or, oh, you? There's a lot of ways to say oh you, right? We don't need to save scum after every battle. We're strong. Actually, I should have saved scum because don't under underestimate girl power. I I'm surprised it wasn't spelled G R R L. All right, cool trainer. Cool trainers are scary normally, but in this game, apparent she's like a cool trainer, but she's in the grass gym, so, so she's only gonna have grass types. Cool trainers are normally scary because they have like different types of Pokemon. Please no Stun Spore. Please no. Oh, she changed Pokemon. Cool. That just gives me a free attack though. This is, which is why it's so cool. Wait, what? Why didn't I get a free attack? You switched Pokemon. What the fuck? That's not fair. You always get a free attack on me when I switch Pokemon. Not that I intend on switching Pokemon anytime soon, but still. That's some bullshit, game. Alright, enemy Gloom fainted. Cool Trainer female is about to use Weepin' Bell. Will Red change Pokemon? No. You know what I realized? Actually, we can just fight those trainers on our way back to Lavender Town. We don't have to fight them now. Alright, Weepin' Bell is, like, super dead. What's her last Pokemon? This is worrisome, because my HP is kind of low. Oh, but the level up is nice to have. Cool Trainer Female is about to use Ivysaur. I will not change Pokemon. Uh, I hope it uses Leech Seed. It's only level 24. We might be able to one-shot. Not quite. Not quite. Not even close, actually. Vine Whip is bad, but I don't think it'll kill us. Oh, the crits. Crits real bad. We might die. Okay, we live with 2 HP. That was... That was worryingly close. Oh, beaten. Now, oh, beaten. Why are they so fond of exclamation marks in this game? Cool trainers, I think, give a decent amount of money, too. We'll just use the third freshwater, see if I care, like... I could not give another fuck. Pleased to meet you. My hobby is Pokemon training. Hey, it's my career, but it's your hobby. You think you can beat me? Beauty wants to fight. You, yeah, you have, like, one Pokemon that's actually just six eggs. One of which has a hole in it. And all of them are cracked. Do you think you can beat a level 41 Blastoise? Because I don't think so. Wow, it's tanky! Gained armor. That's going to reduce my damage output against it, which is going to be annoying, but... Alright, I don't think that'll do much damage. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Blastoise has high defense because of his shell, which is a, obviously a freaking turtle shell. Good job. Good job! Oh, splendid! That's a lot of money. Look, we're balling out of control with the cash right now. And, uh, we've got so many fresh waters, dude. I just, I love it. Alright. Um... So, the question is, do we use TM08? Body Slam, or do we use TMO, TM11, Bubble Beam, or do we, we, well we don't use Bubble Beam, I'm sorry, but do we use TM19 Seismic Toss, or do we use TM30 Teleport? Seismic Toss is like the worst move out, actually we should sell Teleport, I gotta flag this for selling, uh, 
uh, shift. So we gotta gotta hide, uh, not hide. We gotta put into the the, the PC that PP up and the HMO two. We don't want to use the PP up just yet. Okay. Then we're gonna save. And then, so the question was seismic toss or just struggle. I think struggle would actually do a little more damage than the seismic toss. Because Seismic Toss will just deal a fixed 40. Pokemon at, at the level these Pokemon are at, probably going to have like 50 or 60 health, so it'll take two shots to kill them. Uh, whereas Struggle will probably be able to one-shot them. So with that being the case, do we still use Seismic Toss is the question. I think we, we do, because like... I don't think we're going to get much of a better opportunity to use it. I don't think Seismic Toss is that good. And also, it'll get us a free, uh, a free Mega Punch Clear. So that's probably pretty good, too. All right, I've convinced myself. I will use... Do we have any ethers? I don't want to use them, I just want to know. Okay, we have two ethers, that's plenty. Yeah, we will use uh, TM-19? Seismic Toss, yes. Uh, third. Yeah, so Seismic Toss deals damage equal to your level. We're gonna clear up Me Mega Punch with it and learn Seismic Toss. That's gonna allow us to learn our next Mega Punch for only $3,000, as opposed to the expected $4,000. It's gonna be slightly more efficient that way. And let's battle against Gym Leader Erica. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I am the leader of Celadon Gym. I teach the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. Isn't flower arranging like some kind of ancient Japanese... Maybe not ancient, but like some kind of... I don't know, cultural thing that they sometimes do, or like art form? I don't fully understand it, but... Uh, do you like flower arrange your own Pokemon? Fig tree bell, huh? Seismic Toss. We're gonna deal 41 damage per Seismic Toss, which is not too, you know, not too shabby at all. Not quite too shotting him, but that's okay. You know what? I just realized Struggle would have been better, because they got damn downs. Yeah. Please, no critical hit. We might have to retry this with Body Slam, I think. Or Struggle. Struggle might just work. Because uh, damage is more important, damage output is more important in this fight, because if they keep on using Razor Leaf and critting, it's just, we, we can't win. Now, this is not a complete loss, but now, if any of our other Pokemon hurt us at all, we lose the fight. Uh, I will not change Pokemon, because I don't have any that I can use. And we use Seismic Toss. Maybe it'll one-shot it. Did not one-shot it. Use Constrict, which won't kill us. Uh, so we use the Seismic Toss again, and we actually make it to her last Pokemon. Despite her first one taking us down to, like, 12 HP. Um, Vile Plume will probably kill us, unless... It does not know a damage-dealing Grass-type move. No, it knows Solar Beam. We're dead. Unless we can two-shot it, which we cannot. No, I just used Mega Drain. Okay, cool. GG. Let's reload. Um, so, the question now is, do we just struggle, or do we just... Do we, do we just try to win by using an item? By using a TM. Well, if we're going to use a TM, we might as well use TM30, uh, TM uh, Body Slam, because it's... I mean, we're going to sell TM19, uh, because that's trash. So we better move it down to the section for selling stuff. This is... This is the section for selling stuff. I think. Okay. Which TM is this? Teleport, nobody wants it. Max Ether is good. TM12, I think, was... was No, that's Water Gun. I don't want that. 
Um, let's bubble beam. I don't want that. Where's my body slam at? I had body slam TM. TM28? That's D. TM08. Body slam. Okay, let's use that. Just clear up our TM slot a little bit. And, uh... Yeah, we'll go ahead and use that to replace Mega Punch. And... I think now we should just be able to win the gym battle. And then we'll end the episode after we win the gym battle. Erica wants to fight. Erica sent out Victory Bell. Now, Victory Bell does know Razor Leaf, but I think, first of all, Body Slam gives us a paral paralysis chance. But more importantly, it just look at how much damage it does. Yeah, go ahead and get crits. I don't care, even. You're gonna die in two shots. I was hoping the Seismic Toss would allow us to two-hit them, but uh, it didn't, so we lost. But now, she's going to lose. Erica is about to use Tangela. Will Red change Pokemon? No. Is it pronounced Tangela or Tangela? Because I understand that the idea is like, it's sort of like tangled up vines and stuff, even though they don't like it look tangled. But whatever. Tangela is a pretty cool Pokemon, although it's kind of weird that it's just like this giant sort of tentacle monster, as opposed to being, you know, an, an animal or something. All right. I mean, I, I don't care. How, however long this attack wants to continue, it, it probably doesn't affect the outcome of the fight at all. But, uh, yeah. Tangle is pretty weird. Like I said, weird tentacle monster. Ken Sugimori, what the fuck were you doing, buddy? I didn't want- I did not want to change. Vileplume is evil. Please don't use Mega Drain. Please don't crit. Alright. That's fine. All the, all the drain abilities are so bad, <laughs> like, at dealing damage. It's just hilarious. Um, this is why I didn't pick Grass-type also in most Pokemon games, because their offensive abilities are so bad. Like, Razor Leaf, yeah, it has a higher chance of critting, but... Will you pick that over Flamethrower or Surf? Absolutely not. Turtle wants to learn Skull Bash, but Turtle can't learn more than four moves. Delete an older room move to make room for Skull Bash. Yes, I will do that. No, I didn't want- Oh, I fucked it up. I pressed X on exit. Skull Bash is not as good as Body Slam. Uh, I'm an idiot, guys. I'm an idiot. It doesn't matter. We'll just burn away. I can't believe I saved over a, a move that had almost full PP to get fucking Skull Bash. Which TM is this? Mega Drain? Nobody cares. No, actually I could sell it. That's good. So that's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Next time around we're gonna sell all this crap and then go and fight Team Rocket in the game corner.